Hello to you. My name is Nathan Hall, and today we will be exploring the minds of psychology. Today's topic is anger and aggression. It's a very complex topic, but I'm willing to traverse this intricate pathway into the mind with you. So, come, take a journey with me into the psychology of anger and aggression. Anger is a response to an emotional or physical stress. The pain that is experienced with anger is often unpleasant. People lash out, attack, scream, even sometimes kill other people when they are angry. Today I will be explaining and displaying different scenarios to you where people display their anger. I can't do anything right. I just need to eat food. It's, all, it's the only thing I have left. <laughs> the example you just saw there was self-inflicted anger. Self-inflicted ang anger is a pretty destructive form of anger. People tend to overeat, starve themselves, or even cut themselves or hurt themselves when they, when they feel angry at someone or something in their lives. It's one of the most harmful types of anger. You should really avoid doing such things. There are three other types of anger, as you can see here. There is behavioral anger, judgmental anger, and volatile. I don't want to watch Law & Order anymore. Well, I like Law & Order. Well, I don't want to watch Law & Order anymore. We're watching Law & Order. Ow. The type of anger you just saw was behavioral anger. It's a very harmful type of anger and usually consists of very cruel or aggressive acts towards another person. Usually a physical act. And this type of aggression usually gets people in trouble, oftentimes put away in jail for a very long time. Why are you wearing that hat? You know, you're never going to be good for anything. But look at this. This is the ugliest hat I've ever seen. You be ashamed of yourself. Wow. Just look at the way that man just yelled at the man in the orange hat. That example of anger was judgmental anger. It's sort of like an unpredictable type of anger where people burst out, lash out at others verbally, usually, out of nowhere. And it's usually a very harmful, emotional type of anger because people often say very mean and sometimes rude things to other people whether they mean it, or they don't. I hate candles! I can't take it. I hate Law and Order. The last type of anger that you just saw was volatile anger. It's another type of unpredictable anger, and this anger comes and goes, according to Squidoo.com. And it one at one point in time, people can be calm and you know at ease, and then all of a sudden, boom, they'll burst into fit of anger or aggression, 
either towards another person or at themselves. All in all, all of these types of anger are very harmful and you should beware. They can get you in big trouble. As you can see from today's experiments and displays that anger is a very harmful part of the human body. You know, just from self-inflicting to behavioral to judgmental to even volatile types of anger, it's a very bad thing that occurs to humans. So, if you can, avoid being angry and instead try to be compassionate and helpful towards others when anger is not the answer. Love is.